Texas Snake, please forgive me I know this is long, but I've been waiting for two years to have this explained to me, I was embezzled out of a half million dollars because I didn't get the simple question answered to make an informed decision up front, I don't want to make another catastrophic mistake. I need to know where to exchange my currency and redeem Zim. I listen to many sources and don't know why this has never been explained between the two competing recommendations. There are well-informed truthers such as you, Mark Z, Mr. C, Bruce from Bruce's Big Call, and Ed of Ocala that say that we in Tier 4B should call the 800 number to schedule an appointment at a redemption center, aka redeeming bank such as Wells Fargo according to Mark Z to exchange currency at a higher rate and the only place to redeem SIM, set Medbad appointments and provide QFS biometric cards. There are other well-informed truthers such as Rod Steele, John Dolling, Melanie Hines, and Frank26, that say do not take the bait by calling the 800 numbers for redemption centers. They will steal your foreign currency after they claim that you violated your NDA, and you cannot prove otherwise. Freeze your QFS account and claw back your money, they will then close up shop, take your foreign currency to a tier 1 bank with the general public, tier 5, and take your cash. The bank only to their say the redemption centers lure you in by telling you that they are the only place to redeem Zimbin to get higher currency rates than Wells Fargo and Chase even though Mark Z calls these same banks, redeeming banks, used by the redemption centers. The redemption centers also say you must turn in all your currency one time. For example, if you cannot decide where to exchange and want to exchange half at a redemption center and half at the bank, you won't be able to go to the bank after the redemption center because they say you only get one bite of the apple and won't be eligible to exchange the rest of your currency later during tier 5, the general public, at a tier 1 bank. These bank-only truthers don't appear to know or understand the tier system so how can they make a totally informed decision? I don't understand if the White Hats have been cleaning house the past few years of all the bad guys and leave 10 colon no oh oh redemption center bad guys still operating then why have the White Hats not eliminated the redemption center threat to steal our currency? Why are some very knowledgeable Christian truthers skeptical of the redemption centers as a scam? Very much for your time, consideration, and thoughtful response. I will respond to U.S. Marine after setting up the church for tomorrow's services.